At Tokyo's busy Seibu Shinjuku Station, it's a steady surge of trains, travelers, and at times, the need for translation. I was actually really nervous coming because I, I heard people here don't speak English. Now, a potential solution in this nondescript window using voice translation technology. Hi, I want to go to Matsumoto Station. Users simply ask a question in their native language. It appears on the screen and then immediately translated into Japanese for the staff to read. The response is then translated back to the user's original language. Okay. The system is now on a test run. We asked travelers, including Fatima Horcher, to try it out. And you thought the translation was pretty spot on? Spot on. Spot on. It's exactly what I said was on the screen. How many languages can this system translate? It supports 12 languages. We're told the number of foreign visitors to Japan is growing. The screen was introduced so staff and customers can communicate smoothly face-to-face. -face. There are certainly apps for your phone which can translate, but this system is simultaneous and it's face-to-face. -face. The fact that it was at the same time, um, the fact that it really understood what I was saying. While the system isn't always perfect, this technology is quickly improving. Research in the field of natural language processing and artificial intelligence is progressing very rapidly. So these systems are getting better and better. And I hope that they will be used not only in stations, but also in other places in the future. The manufacturer of the board hopes that could include airports, sporting events, and hospitals. Part of an effort to make sure everyone is understood, no matter what language they speak. Mark Stewart, CNN, Tokyo.